Hello everyone. Hi there. Today we're going to do something different and special. We're going to take you on a tour of Bangkok. It's going to virtually be a virtual tour. Carolyn even has the, uh, the chest mount camera. She's going to be my uh, wing woman. I will use her to crawl into tight spots, small spaces, like a, like a trained uh, Jack Russell Terrier. You will be my eyes and ears within the alleys of the city. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's uh, start uh, right. hypercharge your personality, get ready for video making. All right, here it goes. Start off with a little tour mm -hmm. of our place. Nice little condo. I am told this, this is typical of the Bangkok condos. It looks almost identical to the last one we stayed at. Little tour of the outside. Nice little view here. All right. Okay, you Not ready? Let's go. Because you can't get back in without my key, so we're like. I have you trapped. I have you trapped. <clears throat> Willing victims of each other's abuse. All right, let's go. All right. Hmm. Smells like uh, cologne in here. Mm hmm. It's not me. I'm not a perfumed kind of guy. No, we're not perfumed people. We I just stink. use vinegar and baking soda. We just stink. <laughs> no, we don't stink. No. I don't think we stink. I mean, we're vegan. That's what I would say. Vegans don't stink, do they? Yeah, pretty yeah. swanky place, huh? I'll salute the generals. Yeah, just wait. There's no Watch one there. this. Right. Oh, open the door open. for me, Carol? Sir, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Right. Oh, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Of all the times, this is the first time we don't get we don't get a salute. What do you think, y'all? Yeah, this is the first time, too, I'm yeah. oh talking in goodness. public. Yeah, we, d we normally don't do this, but, you know, we're my here. My soul is shrinking a little bit right now, but I gotta overcome. I gotta overcome that. I no don't have a fear of public speaking. Mark, no one is even quite good at it, actually. No one's paying attention. It's hard for me, not because uh, I'm not a people person, it's just because I'm, I'm an empath. And I could read people's minds and their hearts are dark, full of hatred of me. Not that being an empath is any special. Having empathy is not a, necessarily a second like gift. It's a human default, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so far, no one really yeah. gives a hoot and shit. No one cares. More people with masks than before. Yeah. Like the masks have tripled. Now the tourists are wearing the masks and now the people without masks like us we have to feel like we're being shunned. It's like yeah. maskless people. How yeah. dare they? There's a guy going by right now who happens to have a mask and he's not Thai. But before we left and went to Bali, they were wearing masks because of the pollution. Well, that's what we thought it was all about the pollution. Well, now we come back and it's like, wow, it's like everybody, mm -hmm. you know. I'm more concerned with what I let into my bloodstream directly with uh, what I eat. And not some 
bacterial airborne virus or mm -hmm. stuff like that. All right, there's some nice rickety roads here. You gotta watch where you're going. If you're ever in Bangkok, you have to uh, make sure you look down at all times. Um, and ladies, don't wear high heels. If you're gonna wear high heels, you're probably gonna kill yourself. <laughs> you know, unless you, uh, like if you can jump into a limo or something, you know, and get taken to your club, then you're fine, but yeah. That's not a good uh, idea. Got some pork there. Yeah, nice little pork. Sitting in the sun. Hey, guess where we're going? Yeah, what, what's our quest? Here? We're going to Tesco. Tesco for a, mm -hmm. a very important quest item. We're going to Tesco for a questo. <laughs> that was so bad. I don't um, know what we're getting, but it's, I know it will help us advance the storyline of our lives. Well, we haven't been to Tesco yet, and it's right beside Super C. Um, so, you know, we just gotta go and check it out, see if there's something. Because uh, that's what we do when we go when we go to places. Uh, when we go traveling, we, we go to grocery stores. I love it. What the hell? And uh, in a couple of days, we're gonna we're gonna leave Bangkok and go uh, to to the island. And we've decided we're gonna go to Koh Samui, which I've been to before. But now I hear that they have a mall and a great big super um, supermarket. So what are the chances, you know? Before it was just oh, like little shops and stuff. Don't step on the thing. Go this way. It's a nice day, not too hot. Yeah, it feels good. It's only much, like... Much more uh, comfortable than in Bali. Bali, oh Bali my god. Is like, uh, you sweat Bali. It's like sitting in camp in someone's armpit. Yeah. I think we reached a dead end here. Ah, oh, great. Okay. Oh my Bye. god, it's a dead end. Trapped. Can we get through these bushes? Our quest has failed. Damn it! We got stuck in a dead end. There was a barrier. We had to go around again because these guys were painting. But, uh, didn't stop us. You can't stop us. No, but the, you know what? The traffic is really, really shitty right now. Yeah. And it's only about, I think it's about 3 o'clock. Ah, oh, I forgot the phone. Shit. Okay. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't work, work, but it's my clock, you know? I can tell uh, the time by uh, the shadow of the sun create. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what time is it, smart ass? It's uh, uh, 3.45. Maybe, maybe I do have my phone. I do have my phone. Let's see if you're right. Oh my god. Told you. It's 3.45. <laughs> what the hell? How did you do that? That's yeah, crazy. Look, this, this car is coming out. I'm going to go behind it. Let's see. Watch it. Uh, I can do it. Can't stop me. Well, that guy wasn't <laughs> stopping. He was just like, he was running yeah. you over. That was it. Rich people, I tell you. I don't care. Nobody cares. That's it. And uh, I'm kind of glad right now. I'm not getting any death stares from anyone. Uh, you want to walk up there? Yeah. Yeah. We're when you walk the streets of Bangkok and pretty much any Asian place, you gotta be really, really careful. I mean, this is nothing compared to Bali. This is like, crossing the street here is nothing. We used to think it was really hard. Yeah. But after Bali, it's like, I like, uh, piece of cake. I like Bangkok much more than uh, Bali. Yeah, I don't wanna leave actually. I like, yeah. there's uh, nothing. Beautiful. There's always something to keep you busy with your attention here. Yeah. You're not as likely to get bored. No. As in Bali, I thought in Bali I could gaze upon the light and the, the rice terraces and just be enchanted, but after about a half hour, you're just kind of like well, uh, bored of it. Well, we didn't go to any rice terraces. That might be part of why it didn't seem so great because we actually didn't go. Yeah. We had a fake one. 
we had like a, a shitty one outside our door, but it could have been just a swamp. Could have been anything. Okay, now now it gets really frustrating this because is one of the perilous. Yeah, trying to cross the street. You just kind of you just go and you just hope for the best. All right, we you made it. Gotta be assertive. Yeah. All right. Look at this Starbucks. Woo! Oh. Yeah. Not that we'd ever go in. Coffee's expensive there. Very strong. Too strong for me. Well, um, I don't pay five dollars for a cup of coffee anyway. I like coffee, but not that much. Oh, that looks nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, uh, all we have is the sights of uh, Bangkok and our wit to keep you entertained. Yeah, it's pretty epic, this city. I, uh, yeah, lucky for us, Bangkok is quite interesting. So, uh, it, it looks a lot like pretty much any big city right here where we are right now. This is, I mean, if you looked at this and you didn't know, you'd be like, must be New York. Chicago? Is it Chicago? Oh. Yeah, we should go down the back streets. So. Aren't you excited? We're going to Tesco. Tesco. I think it's about 10 minutes away from here. Yeah. Okay, we'll go up here. This is Au Bon Pain. Au Bon Pain, that's French. Au Bon Pain. See, like we could be anywhere. We could be in Montreal. Mm -hmm. I think we even have one in Montreal. Yeah. Why did we come to Thailand? Oh, we don't have to shovel snow right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, no back in the, yeah. in the light. This is the way you gotta walk on the Thai streets. You gotta kind of like go up and down steps and thingies. Oh, for the best. There's a BMW. Uh Auto car uh, car dealership there. Oh uh, yeah, so, let's yeah. go get a quick BMW. Might just wait till payday though. Let's just uh, let's get a quick one. Quick BMW. <laughs> right. Here's some food stands where some they're selling stands. some not edible for us, of course. Okay, watch out for your light. Gotta be alert. I think it's about uh, 30, 33 today. 33? Yeah. Pretty perfect, huh? Yeah, should we cross on that top thing or no? We'll cross oh. this way. Okay, we'll go here. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's but do that. Then we gotta go. Uh, oh, then we gotta cross. We here. gotta backtrack. Then. Yeah, true. I you don't backtrack. Your... I never backtrack. No, never backtrack. I move forward. Always. Gotta. In order to get across the street, in most parts of these big streets, you have to look for a bridge. It's pretty loud here. I mean, where we're living, we don't hear anything. So this is kind of. This is really loud. Oh yeah, and they uh, don't really seem to have a problem with people riding scooters and motorcycles on the sidewalk. So even when you're walking on the sidewalk, you gotta be careful. I can see Tesco. I see Tesco. Looming like a pearl in the distance. <laughs> Gleaming like the Great Pyramid. I don't know what we're gonna get there, but we'll see. Let's see what they got. We gotta get some. We've been going to this 24-hour uh, uh, supermarket and it's only for tourists. Like, you wouldn't catch a Thai person in there. So expensive. Everything's like neatly wrapped. Yeah. It's all shiny. It's more expensive than at home. It smells like... Uh... Oh, it smells so Grilled good. 
meats. I, that, yeah, I smell grilled. I smell I garlic. I smell the garlic. Yeah. yeah. That's mm. I want some garlic bread. I'm hungry. I'm not hungry, but I'm I can hungry. eat. That's what Carolyn always says. Yeah, but right I now I'm hungry. That's why I could eat. Just tired of cooking all the time. Coming up to a crosswalk. Yeah, this one's the deadly one. But what we usually do is we wait for a whole bunch of people and then we use them as a human shield. You know, you, you gotta make sure there's somebody on either side of you so that, you know. They shield us from uh, They'll get hit cars first. and the coronavirus. Yeah, unless they have us. There's no human shields here. Not yet. We haven't gotten to the corner yet. Oh, you're gonna cross here? Yeah. Oh, okay. This could be tough. Just because you see, when you're in Thailand and you see uh, the lines that indicate a crosswalk, it doesn't mean they're gonna stop. There's a traffic light here. In fact, what? No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. Where? Yonder. Oh, yeah. Yonder. Just because there's a traffic light in Bangkok and it says green, it doesn't mean you get to go. If it says stop, it doesn't mean they're going to stop. No one's getting tickets here. No, There's like no really regulations for the road. And forget about pedestrians' rights. Which is, you know, with all this traffic, you can't just... Pedestrians are, they're small. If I do get run over, I'll make sure to meet eyes with the driver just to make them feel guilty. <laughs> that's not a very um, positive no, okay. thing to say. No. You're so negative. Hey, I survived the riptide of Pierre uh, de la Cuesta in Acapulco. I this? can survive this. Okay, where's our human shields? Alright. Okay, the light, Time, wait, go. the light's green. Can oh, do it. right. Can do uh, it. See? The light was green and we went anyway. Yeah, well, wow. we made it half the way. But then the light just says it's just green forever for the cars. It's just like, it's a joke for pedestrians. We're never getting across, ever. It's not gonna happen. Waiting for a miracle. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, they're stopping. It's a red light and they're actually stopping. This is crazy. Seize the moment. Oh my god. Wow. It's happening. Alright. Okay, I think that was the first. Oh, we could have just crossed over the bridge. No, there's no bridge. What there's a bridge. About? It goes right into Tesco. God, I hate myself. <laughs> the only problem is we would have had to cross another street like this in order to get to the bridge. And now we don't have to cross another street, so it all works out. Yeah. Same shit. That was more action packed that way. <laughs> <sighs> that made me a little toasty. Getting gloriously close to the Tesco. I'm getting thirsty. I think I'm gonna need some coconut water. There's Tesco. Victory is near. And the best part about this is it's really air conditioned. Yeah. Right. Not that I need it, because I love I love the warm weather. It's actually not too hot at all. Yeah, like 33. It's not bad. Alright, here we go.
Quest item. Tofu. This one's cheaper. It feels Tofu. weird. It feels weird. Too soft. Wait, I like this one. I'll get this one. Wait, what's the difference? One's white and one's yellow? Yeah. Yellow tofu with turmeric. Okay, yellow's cool. We'll get yellow. Okay, what else? Okay, I'm gonna get some of these tomatoes. Here, when you get when you get produce here, you gotta get them to weigh it because the, the cashiers don't weigh it. So the first time I did it, it was like I go to the cashier and she's like, uh, she gave me the weirdest look, and it took us a long time to figure it out. But yeah, I had to run back. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Okay, what else? Well, let's get some of these little tomatoes. All right. Okay. Now that Carolyn's distracted, we could talk about the real stuff. I got nothing. So we got a bag of tomatoes. They are about 25 cents for this, for these. Pretty good. So All we did right. it. Quest completed. Tofu acquired. Not just tofu, we got lock. Woo, that's scary. We got some uh, limes. We got uh, papaya. papaya. We got oh, some kind of green vegetable stir fry material. And it all came to around uh, 95 baht. Which is uh, about... 450 uh, Canadian. Yeah, 450 Canadian. Right. Not bad. A safer way to cross. You cross above it all. Yeah. Pretty this hectic. Is, this is where we behold things from a higher altitude and insert some trite, semi philosophical statement. You know, sometimes you think about life, you know, all these people, a billion lives crisscrossing and it all culminates with us standing here at all your six right here to occur only once never again until next time <laughs> until the next moment <laughs> quick BMW let's grab a quick BMW
find what is our street? It's the next one. The next one. Yeah, that should be easy. I like these uh, these narrow alleys. It makes me feel like I'm uh, some detective uh -huh. trying to solve some uh, racially exotic mystery. I don't know what that means, actually. I don't know what you're talking about. Like my wit is carrying these videos, Carolyn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like these alleys, too. It's like, alleys are awesome. The, the alleys in Montreal were good, but mm -hmm. this is just a different kind of alley. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get uh, food here. I'm not for vegans, but... It happens. What else can you get here? You can get not too much. Oh, shoes. You can get your shoes shined. Get some leather shoes, no thanks. Get some leather shoes, also not for us. Uh, oh, this is a really popular snack here. Uh, hot dogs on a stick and other hot doggy kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a water machine. We could have come here. Uh -huh. Where are we? We're lost. Oh, this is a very good question. Okay, we'll have to... Uh, uh, we're going to have to go back to the main street in order to... go this way. Alright. This is scary. Don't know where we're going here. Okay, yeah, look. Well, I think we got to go that way. Yeah, I think we do too. Maybe we can get that way from this way. Gonna find out. Or it could be another blind alley. Wait a minute. Blind alley. What does nah, that mean? Fine. All my uh, open what does world blind alley uh, video mean? game experiences. What's a blind alley? It's, it's, the definition is in, implied in the, the, word, the meaning of the words. Okay, someone's creeping up on us. Okay, we're kind of lost too. Yeah. We... But I have a sense of direction. No, well, we're going in the right direction. It's just a. Oh, there's a street. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. I don't know. I don't know. The car tailing us. Tailing us, we tried to let him go and he won't. He won't go. Okay, he finally went. Alright. Okay, he was. He was driving an old Mercedes. Was my assassin. Oh an my Mercedes. god. Oh, oh, there's a car. Oh, there's a car. Oh, my god. After another. Okay, okay, this looks good. Yes. I recognize that. I think. You recognize it? We made it! Okay. We went down a few streets and we didn't know where we were. We ended up pretty far actually. But the good thing is that the building where we live is really tall, so we just look in that direction and kind of like weave in and out of the street. Right over there. Yeah. And we're going to get a drink now. I want to have a nice cold beer. We're going to crack ourselves a cold one. We're going to crack her. We're just going to do it. You know why? Because we're Canadian. Uh, yeah, I'm German too, so. Yeah, double whammy. <laughs> You know what they say about uh, alcohol though, it comes from like, what is it, Latin or Greek? It means like a uh, body-consuming spirit. Yeah, it's 
It's a good thing I have an overabundance of spirit, though. Almost to an excess. Yeah, but I don't know if you have uh, 20 livers. Uh, I got I just have one kidney. There we are. This place looks alright. Where are we? Now I'm lost again. Here's oh, okay. Go see vegetable lady. Vegetable lady. Yesterday I discovered her. I've been going to these rich places all the time, and I got I couldn't even spend five bucks to get my groceries. Like it's crazy. So like what I didn't get at Tesco, I'm gonna get from her. Cause uh, I don't know, she's pretty much giving it away. It's crazy. Wow, she's got some good stuff here. Uh, hmm. I need garlic. Oh, a broccoli. Did I get a broccoli? Yeah, a broccoli. <clears throat> Garlic. Cucumber. I could have got my tomatoes with her. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. 
Can we get a potato? Or you know what? These these are really good. These these mushrooms. Okay. Um, I think I'm okay for hot peppers. I have a hot pepper sauce. open pretty late. And it's literally across the street from where we live. Yeah. I mean, the only thing she doesn't have is, to, is uh, te um, a tofu, so that's why we go to places like Tesco. And she doesn't have like any specialty items, you know, spices and stuff like that. Okay, now we go... Now to we're going to the park. Then you see a park for the, the sunset and uh, the and national the cats, anthem. And the cats. The cats. All right. We're going for the cats. This is where the action is. Well, and maybe not right here. But. Well, I mean action. Define action. There's stuff. Action Jackson. There's a lot of uh, traffic. There's overpriced restaurants. There's overpriced uh, everything. But there's stuff to look at, you know? Yeah. There's a sky train over there. It's fun people watching. Yeah. And we're on our way to Benjaziri Park, which is right around the corner from our place, but we didn't we didn't take the shortcut. We we yeah. got kind of lost again. <laughs> Oh fuck. Oops. We almost got backed up on by a truck. I mean like who would have thunk it? Uh. It's called a look in your rear view mirror. Hello. So you underestimated how agile I am. Wow. Well, I mean if he would have run over you, there's no like degree of agility that would have saved your life. When I avoid being run over. Yeah, the guy yelled at you. Maneuvers. The guy yelled at you and you walked faster. It's a good thing he yelled at you. The guy saved your life. He yelled at you. No, he yelled at you because I was already around by the time he noticed that we were around. I mean that I was around and then he uh, yelled at you. He was yelling at nice. you. Nice. at the park now this is where I'm gonna regrow yeah. those elements of spirit that were burned away with the beer uh, you know what though we missed um, we missed the standing ovation for the um, well not standing ovation no well right. whatever you have to stand for um, the, the king's the, anthem or? The, the national anthem oh. so whenever you're around in Thailand and you hear the national anthem being played you got to stand up or well, you gotta stand still because you might not actually be sitting down. So if you're if you're walking around, you better stand still and just you know be respectful because they really take pride in their um, in their thing. Nice. Help me out here, Mark. Help me out. I don't know. You word? just keep backing What's yourself into a corner with your words. <laughs> No, I, that's the problem. I didn't have any words. I didn't have any words. Okay. 
Let's go look for them cats. Ah, there she is. Nice and peaceful. Where are my cats at? There you go, you gotta, you gotta ground yourself. It's a very sexual experience. <laughs> okay, uh, so wow. it's getting pretty dark. I think we better head back. Yes, darkness is setting upon Benjus Siri. Park. Park, yeah. It's not like a nation called Benjus Siri. It's a, it's a park. Right. You're, you're not wrong. You're just an asshole. <laughs> you're the asshole. Oh, right, don't, don't fight in front of the. Uh, no. In front I, of uh, our audience. Well, I'm not fighting. I'm just <laughs> saying it like it is. You're the asshole. I'm just getting it straight. See, you know. This is what I was going to talk to you about, guys. I'm hungry. Of course you are. Of course you are. Are you hungry? I can eat. Yay! That's what Carolyn always says. Until the food shows up and then she's not hungry anymore. I'm hungry. And I gotta do all the dirty no, work. No, you know? I can eat. All right. Peace, guys. Until Peace the next time. See ya. Good thing I brought all that papaya. Digestive enzymes. Save me some.